Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 15 of Dear Gassini's Build Your Own X-Wing. Uh, now, it looks like a, a nice, fun, very silver uh, edition this time. Uh, lots of little bits. Obviously, static cling on some of these, they're still holding in. So when you are opening this, make sure you actually empty your pot before you get rid of it. Uh, let's have a look. It does tell you what you should have if you... Let's have a flick through the magazine first. We're recreating the X-Wing from the Return of the Jedi set design. Uh, nice interesting stuff in there. Dagobah as well, obviously. Little models and things. Uh, talking about uh, Volts Garris. I have no idea. Looks like it's from Rebels. Which I still need to get round and finish watching. But there we go. Uh, there we go. We have... Uh, Lots of stuff about him. And a page I can't turn over. There we go. Right, the upper starboard engine. Uh, we have 16 pipework details uh, and two halves of the power input unit. Uh, let's have a quick check to make sure. We've got those two. They're the easy ones. There should be 16 of these. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm assuming they're counting those two then. Let's have a quick look through, make sure we've got the bits that it says we've got. Obviously we've got those two. It might be the wrong way around, but we won't worry too much about those two. Uh, so these ones are going to be the interesting ones. Now, I have been told by uh, one of my lovely patrons, Snoopot, uh, that there is an error in the description here, or an, rather an, an omission rather than an error, I think, uh, about how things fit together. The, all, all things are not equal. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to have a look through that and see what we can see. And these seem to be different. They're, they're, they're that way, and that's that way. So there might be differences between some of these. The way that the things bend. Uh, that looks like one of those. That's one of those. And we've got that little one there. Big one up there. That one there. So no, there are two other bits that I haven't seen. So let's check the other plastic bit. I took the lid off. I'll, I'll have a look and make sure I've got the bits before I go any further. So it won't be a sec. Yes. They escaped. Uh, not only were they stuck to the inside there, they actually stuck to the, the lid when I took the lid off of it without me noticing. So, just as well to count and make sure you've got everything you need before you go deeper into it. So, we have all of the parts that they're talking about there. So let's move those off of the book. Move those off as well. And we'll see exactly what it is we've got to do. Uh, we're fitting the two parts of the power unit together, which is obviously easy. Just simple snap together, no need to worry about gluing that too much. I'm assuming again that this is going to be an internal uh, part, so I'm not worrying too much about seam lines and things like that. We'll see how it goes together and what happens then. Uh, so we're taking the shortest of the pipes. I shall spread these back out again because they're definitely some differences between a couple of them obviously some of them are very obviously different like that bit and that bit and that bit that's the one that we're obviously dealing with now but uh, yeah there are some differences with some of these pipes that obviously you have to be aware of when you're putting them together uh, so let's see these are opposites so we've got bits that curve that way and bits that curve that way so let's put them in the right places so I can get whichever one I need when I need it that's that one they all look to be identical to the to the naked eye as do they so we'll see what bits are apparently different um, right so we're putting the shortest one it may be better to use some tweezers to see what we're dealing with where and obviously put them in place these may well need gluing in place it doesn't say to glue them in place uh, that's fairly tight but not 
overly tight. I'll carry on putting them in place and come back and glue them if I need to. It just says push it in place till it's flush. Then the long tube thing uh, goes into there. Okay, matching hole. Turn the page over. Press the pipe all the way in. So yes, that looks like that. Although it doesn't look like that with the rest of it around it. I don't seem to have these holes here. Oh, I've got them on that side, right. So, but that's down there. That looks like that's up there. That's definitely that way around. So he's got holes on different sides to me. Right, well, we'll carry on and we'll see how it looks like it goes together from the pictures. Let me just check ahead sometimes, because the last time I moaned about this, it had a big picture of everything, which it doesn't really on here. So, right, let's continue on. We have two manifolds, mirror images of each other. Take this one, it says, uh, which isn't that one. It looks like that one. You've got to get that in there and then into there. Okay. So far so good. Do the same the other side. Yes, do the same the other side. Okay, so far so good. They seem to be going quite securely, so I'm not overly worried about them as yet. Uh, take this piece of pipe work, it says, uh, which doesn't have the curve in the end of it, so it's obviously that one. And we're going up that side. Now I've got two holes there. Oh, conveniently it says on this set one. The top hole is the one we're going for. So we get that in there. This is one of the more uh, sort of fiddly creative issues that I've had and seen. There's lots that can potentially go very, very wrong with this build. And also, considering that I expect this is all going to be hidden away, it might be possible to not bother with it at all. And just sort of uh, not put the framework around it, or I don't know. But obviously we're going to be building, because this is what we do. But if you're not confident in you know small stuff and building, so you may not have to worry about this. You might just get away with just putting the... Uh, a tube, a large tube in place. That's not going in as well as it looks like it should. I wonder as well how much of this is, I would say screen accurate, but I don't know that any of this has ever actually appeared on screen, but might be creative drawing accurate, or if they have just made stuff up for the sake of the build. That looks like that. Right, take the four of the pipes that curve this way round. Right, looking at that, that's these four. I know that it looks like they're curving the other way round, but that's just because they're upside down to that. So that's that. And one of the identical rectangular plates. So they are indeed identical. Although one's got a blob on it. That might be what I've been told about. One's got a blob on there. Might might be uh, more uh, sort of uh, flash rather than actual design. Where do they go? They go onto the outside frame here, down there. Right, yes, there we go. This is the part that I've been warned about. Thank you, Stupot. One, It says identical, but it lies. They're not. One has a circular blob on there. And only one side has the corresponding hole for it. So if you got that the wrong way round, you wouldn't be able to install that to there. Uh, so it says put the bits in there first and then fit that on over there. I don't see any reason we can't fit that first. So let's try installing that first. And obviously the other one, the other side as well. <coughs> and then we can see which pipe goes where. 
Oh, they go up to there, okay. So, let's see. Doesn't even really show which end of it you're installing. Curly end. <coughs> so we've got curly end going into there. And that then brings it down into there. So yeah, I think that's got to be that side. And that bit will line up over there as well. They are very small holes that you're meant to be lining it up to. So it's going to look like that with all of them done. Down and twisting rear. Yeah, that looks like that. Okay, so I've just got to do that with all of these and then the same on the other side. Uh, I'm not going to film all of that because it's just fiddly me faffing and trying to get the bits plugged into the bits so I'm doing that there and that there and then doing the same the other side but with the other bits from the other side so we're getting that one that way around that bit will go in there and that bit will line up with our tube that we've just fitted like that. Uh, right, I'll get the other lot plugged in, and that's probably it, but we'll come back and see it finished. So I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, it continues on just telling it to plug all of those in, and then put that one in there. In fact, it even looks like they're put, trying to put the wrong bit on the wrong side, because that hasn't got the little blob on it. So uh, yeah, they might well have had fun trying to do that with the other side as well. Maybe they drew that in as an extra bit but completed it should look like this and and indeed it, it does although a little bit smaller uh, so yeah I'm quite happy with how they're all actually holding in so I don't need to glue any of those they all seem to be in where they should be there's obviously more to to come around the holes there but uh, yeah I'm happy with that the instructions not very clear in that and not quite right so yeah if you're doing this build keep an eye out for that uh, that is it for this issue this week uh, yep uh, now this build is still not quite up to um, date and sorting out so I did only get two issues this month uh, so this is 15 16 is over there I shall be filming that momentarily and then that will be it for the month again I think next time I'm going to be getting five issues every five weeks although I thought that this time but it didn't work out that way so who knows uh, thanks for watching. I shall see you soon for the next issue, part number 16. I uh, hope you're enjoying the build, following along and joining in and stuff. Uh, if you are joining in, don't forget, um, come along and show me stuff. Uh, I've got the uh, Facebook page and group, and even leave comments on the video indeed as well. So I'll see you soon, and uh, have fun. Bye.